Meghan and Harry spend their honeymoon at the beach with hotel values up to $19,000 a night. Meghan and Harry's wedding date is getting closer and closer, with the royal family remaining tight-lipped about many of the details. After the heavily awaited walk down the aisle on May 19, the couple will jet off for their honeymoon, but their chosen destination remains unknown. It is no secret the royals enjoy coming to Australia, with Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge, Diana and Charles and the Queen herself all holidaying here in the recent past. Female takes a look at the hotels and destinations the newlyweds could and should stay at if they choose to honeymoon down under or in neighboring New Zealand. Wildman Wilderness Lodge is a serene wilderness escape nestled in the Murray River wetlands two hours east of Darwin on the fringe of Kalkadu National Park. It provides newlyweds with the opportunity to explore the unique region while still being able to stay in stylish eco-lodges and safari tent accommodation. The buildings feature custom-designed safari tents with picturesque views the ultimate in bush luxury. With romantic three-course dinners by candlelight, guests are intimately isolated from other couples and the lodge is sure to give the couple a retreat from everyday life. This luxurious glamping experience is ideal for those who want to experience adventure in style, as each fan-cooled tent is spacious and comes complete with an in-suite bathroom and luxury bedding. This opulent retreat is located only 25 minutes away from the vibrant center of Queenstown in New Zealand, but it feels like you're surrounded by wilderness. The beautiful lodge boasts show-stopping views of the Remarkables mountain range and the Wakatipu Basin making it the perfect location for couples to escape from the rest of the world. The icing on the cake is the fact that the spacious home has floor-to-ceiling windows, providing views of the stunning mountains and valley from all spots of the lodge. As well as a luxurious interior, the outside area has a barbecue, seating and a spa so you can recline in warm water while taking in the incredible view. This beautiful cottage is nestled on the quiet banks of the Shotover River in the Otago region of the South Island of New Zealand. The Shotover Point accommodation is located in a peaceful and secluded spot, making it an amazing secret getaway. The character of the historic old stone farmhouse and the surrounds of a vineyard ensure it's an ideal country retreat. As there are no neighbors around you can reside in the comfort of knowing that this slice of serenity is all yours. There is also a beautiful patio area where you can enjoy al fresco dining or a glass of wine in the evenings while watching the sunset over the valley. Longitude 131 is a luxe tent resort with 15 exclusive pavilions, each with a stunning view of Uluru. This is where William and Kate stayed in 2014 as they holidayed in Australia, a week before their third wedding anniversary. The accommodation takes glamping to the next level incredibly stylish, yet welcoming and relaxed. Red desert surrounds the location as far as the eye can see, leaving it isolated but magical as the stars light up the sky at night. During their visit the Duke and Duchess walked around part of Uluru, just as Prince William's parents did 31 years ago. Sal Salas Ningalu Reef is a beachhide safari camp nestled in the dunes of the Cape Range National Park on Western Australia's mid-north coast. Each of the 16 wilderness tents offers views of the surrounding bush and beach. It offers the discreet yet luxurious safari vibes which both Prince Harry and Meghan have come to love after their very first trip together in 2016 to Botswana. Pippa Middleton, the younger sister of Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, and her billionaire husband James Matthews honeymooned at the five-star Sal Salas Resort, which includes Ecolux Wilderness Tents. It is every bit the magical honeymoon destination fit for a prince and princess, and it perfectly encapsulates Australia's ethereal beauty. The royal lovers again may follow in the footsteps of Prince Harry's sister-in-law Pippa by opting for the luxurious $19,000 a night park Hyatt Suite in Sydney. The Park Hyatt offers rooms so exclusive it does not advertise prices on their site, but instead sends information out to potential guests on request. Nestled in the historic rocks of Sydney, the hotel sits between the world-famous Harbour Bridge and Opera House, with breathtaking views of both. 
The top class suite boasts a private outdoor terrace with near 360 degree panoramic views of the city. The master bathroom also features a spa bath, sauna and steam room, while the living room is designed around a central gas fireplace should the royal couple choose to holiday in winter.